When I first started making art, a lot of my stuff was black and white. Like in high school, I was, I was pretty afraid of color. <laughs> I have a lot of artistic influences. I look at a lot of my pairs. I look at a lot of Japanese art, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I try to just keep my mind open to anything that's cool. Because my technique has improved, my possibilities have opened up about what, like, what I can do, like how ambitious I am. Like even just when you start a piece, so when you finish a piece and then you look back in it, you're like, okay, so I can see why I put that there. Like, you like you realize, like, oh, that's probably like a symbol of what I was going through at that time. I kind of arrived at this palette just for aesthetic reasons. I like the way they look. I think the colors are pretty, that's why I picked them. But also, a lot of my subject matter can be like darker, more like Glory. I like having like the subject not necessarily reflected in the palette. It's a little interesting to see like mauling scenes, but like in like in neon pinks and stuff, like pastels, or, like death fights in nice. cute color. You know, like yeah. I think it creates like an interesting dichotomy, <laughs> if you will. <laughs>